Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest Wayfinders, where, whoa, wait a second, what in the world is happening here? Um, yeah, this is not quite how I expected this story to happen. Uh, we are here with a familiar wolf, even if you guys don't recognize her yet. This is actually Pigeon, so... Tempest hasn't had her litter recap yet. I'm aware of this. Long story short, um, I was gonna do all of that this week, and my air conditioner broke. <laughs> so, I've been in the middle of maintenance heck, as people have been in and out trying to deal with that, and my recording time has been very cut short, because limiting my ability to cool my house has made it hard for me to record. Uh, anyway, things are a little bit better now, hopefully they're gonna be fixed soon, and we'll be able to be back to business as usual, but yeah, uh, things have been weird. The litter recap is coming, but... What you need to know is that Wayfinders doesn't do normal airs. Everybody really liked Pigeon, especially the people in my supporter Discord server for Patreon members, uh, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. And so it's pretty much a given that Pigeon is going to join the <laughs> lineup for, uh, for, for, for our wolves that we're going to be playing as here. And so when a new update was pushed, because we are in the new public beta for uh, the update that WolfQuest has been teasing at, and I already smell some new things. <laughs> Uh, everybody's like, well, maybe Pigeon could come back. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, that's a great idea. So we brought Pigeon back uh, and she's going to be running around in Lost River exploring some of these brand new features. And I think we found one of them here. Uh, we can smell a skull, apparently. We're also back in the kind of backwoods area of Lost River uh, hanging out here, and look at this! <laughs> We've got a mule deer skull. So this is the main feature of this update, is now we have all of these skulls and antlers lying around, and they're really, really cool. <laughs> look at this! Look at this, that's so neat! Oh my goodness gracious, I, I love it already. We're gonna have so much fun collecting all of these. <laughs> uh, but we gotta find some place to put them. We, we found one right away before we've even kind of settled down. So that's gonna be Pigeon's main goal. She's gonna be running around in here in Lost River, uh, raising a litter, trying to collect all the skulls and the antlers that she can, being kind of the, uh, ki kind of the, the boisterous, adventurous one of her litter. And uh, she's going to be trying to collect as many of these as she can while raising her own pups uh, and finding a mate and all that first, as well as uh, meeting some of the in newer inhabitants of Lost River, because one of the other interesting things about this update is there's uh, there's some new dogs. <laughs> and so we're going to be uh, we're gonna be seeing if we can meet some of them. They might be more foes than friends. I hesitate to say we're going to make new friends because I think we're going to make new enemies, but... Uh, she's gonna be exploring that too. So yeah, this is not quite the order I was hoping to release videos in, but it's fine. We'll meet her siblings a little bit later and you guys will get a nice little sneaky peeky preview at uh, one of the grown pups from Tempest Litter, but you'll have to come back to see the rest of them. <laughs> uh, we do also still have one of Tempest's siblings. So uh, Pigeon's uncle uh, for his story, uh, that would be Lark and we'll be coming back to him at some point. But this just didn't feel like the right story for him. So we're, n we're not gonna, we're not, we're, we'll, we'll save his story for a later, a later date. We're gonna kind of jump, start jumping around to whichever, whichever Wayfinder feels fitting. So I probably need to find some elk here. I've been running around talking. Well, we found an elk carcass. That's not exactly helpful. There's female dispersal wolves, which is also not <laughs> helpful because Pigeon is female. Um, she has, by the way, her stats are minus one strength, plus one stamina, plus one speed, minus one health. And she has the 832F coat, which is a gray coat. So uh, that is that is her basic vitals here. But uh, yeah, I'm really not, I'm seeing, I mean, I'm seeing things that would be helpful if we were not having to go hunting. <laughs> but it seems like we might, might have to do a little bit more sniffing around to find something to hunt. So I think we'll let uh, Pigeon go ahead and do that. Well, we found a bull elk scent. That's better than nothing. <laughs> Not necessarily something that we can hunt, I don't think, but at this time of year, it is fall, and so often the bull elk will congregate to fight each other, or, and that often means tracking down a normal herd of elk that is a, a mixed herd with males and females, and younger elk as well, that are easier for hunting. So, 
if we follow the scent, then maybe we can be clever about this and uh, track down uh, an elk herd that does have a uh, that, that, that does have elk that we can actually hunt. Pigeon is pretty daring, but I don't think she is uh, foolhardy enough to try to take down a bull elk completely on her own. The serpentine bull elk herd. All right. So they're somewhere off in this direction. I, I smell literally everything but a normal elk herd. <laughs> literally, literally everything. There's mule deer. I think there's pronghorn as well. Did they double back? Oh my goodness, they did. Goodness sakes. I guess they went this way after all. Okay. Uh, these elk are tricky. We're, we're out here trying to be clever, and so are they. But I think this will hopefully, like, you know, hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll find some trouble here. Hopefully we'll find some, some bull elk who are picking fights. And that will enable us to pick fights as well. Oh, there's some dogs. There's some dogs here. You look a little bit different. You you kind of look like a, a really big beagle. <laughs> so there's now more... Dead, apparently. There's now more... Um more mixed breed looking dogs which is really really cool because the original dogs that we had were all all looked like purebreds and that's not generally what happens when you have a feral dog population like where i grew up in california um we we had a sizable feral dog population because i lived you know uh, out in the desert and there were a lot of dogs that just moved out to the desert, and I don't know if they all started mixing with the coyotes or what, but there was a pretty sizable feral dog population. You drive out there, and you'd often see them trotting around. And uh, they they tended to have a pretty shepherdy looking look. It probably depends on what breeds are popular in the area that... Oh, hello, we were right. Is that another wolf? There's another wolf here! Who is this? We're not the only one who had this idea! Hello? Oh, this this other wolf has spooked the has spooked the, the herd. Oh my goodness, who else is hunting here? Well, I don't want to entirely drop the sulfur, female sulfur dispersals. Uh-oh, a rival. A rival approaches. Okay. But yeah, I was gonna say it probably depends on what dog breeds are popular in an area, what traits make into the feral dog gene pool. But usually they're not super you want to oh i can't even what do you mean i can't growl with my mouthful i can too i can growl around this you get get out i missed i targeted the elk instead of the wolf get out this is my hunt go away <laughs> get out go on go on go on there we go that's more like it where'd i put my skull here's my skull I know we can't hunt with this, but I want to bring it. I don't want to leave it. Like this is this is th this is my security skull. We're not we're not leaving this behind. I I need this. <laughs> um, we're gonna see if we can find. Oh boy, I guess we'll set this down here, and I really hope we can find it again. We'll we'll mark it on the map. We'll mark our security skull here, and we will uh. We we will go see if we can we can hunt one of the one or two of these elk here because we have to get that out of the way. Ack! are you huntable? Are you huntable? You are you are huntable, but I don't know if you're huntable for me very easily. You're pretty weak, actually. You know what? We're gonna go for it. We don't have the best of strength, but you are pretty weakened. And maybe you'll eat dirt as we're running here. That'd be real nice. Just take take a nice little nice little nose dive. And uh, take some extra damage here. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know if she will or not. But oh no, we're getting so far away from our skull. No, no. Um. But yeah, uh, what I was saying is there's now a wider variety of dogs in Lost River, and they look a little bit less uh, like the first generation of of left behind pets, and a little bit more so. Why are you picking a fight? I didn't even go after you. I truly don't know what's happening in this episode. It's pretty much just been unfiltered chaos, which is pretty on brand for Pigeon, honestly. She is uh, definitely a time and a half. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, 
apparently we are just along for the ride. So some point after her litter, she must have made her way out to Lost River. In fact, maybe she's even part of a relocation program. She apparently just just hurt her leg. That's This is fine. It's great. We're doing great. We're doing wonderful out here. But as you can see, she has a radio caller. This is a suggestion of some of the folks in the supporter server. And uh, thinking that, you know, maybe she maybe she got collared by humans and then headed out here or got relocated to Lost River. Either way, she has ended up out here and uh, has kind of branched away from a lot of the <laughs> a lot of the Wayfinders pack. Of course, uh, her uncle Crow also moved out here. Uh, I want my skull back. We'll, we'll hunt again another day when we're hopefully not injured. Um, but yeah, uh, her uncle Crow also came out here at some point, but he's a little bit further to the west. And I think Pigeon will kind of hang out here on the east. I don't know if we're going to have her go to the cattle ranch or not. She doesn't really strike me as a cattle ranch wolf. I mean, I guess maybe, but I don't know. Oh, dogs. Hello, dogs. You! Let me get a good look at you. You're kind of a boxery, bulldog-looking kind of dog. Kind of brindled. I think that's a brindle coat. Pretty interesting. Very wide. <laughs> Definitely has, like, a, a bit of a bulldog trait going on there. But you can see, these guys look a little bit different. They've got a couple different coats. This one has floppy ears, I think. The other one had more upright ones. A couple different variations. So... There, there, there's some interesting new fellows out here in the wilderness, and I think Pigeon is very curious. Obviously, having grown up in Yellowstone, she didn't really grow up with a lot of dogs around. Lost River's kind of unique in that er in that area compared to where she started out. So I think she's very curious about these other canines. I don't know that she's necessarily hostile just yet, but she's a very rambunctious wolf. So. Giving chase is definitely something that uh, she is all for. She's very, very willing to romp around, although I'm not so sure that the dogs see it as much as playing as they do running for their lives from a much larger wolf. But I don't know. Pigeon's not the most co cognizant of that kind of thing, I think. she uh, She's just having fun. She's out here to have a good time and uh, to carry skulls around and heaven forbid that anything happened to her skull because I think she would start a fight immediately. <laughs> um, yeah, she's gonna be carrying this with her, I think, for, I'm just hearing mule deer music. I saw the deer over here, but then I thought maybe I heard predator music too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's just gonna carry this skull around with her, I think. We've got kind of this whole wide area ahead of us. There's a burned area out here, too. Very reminiscent of the Amethyst Mountain burn. Oh, this is a more normal-looking German Shepherd. Yeah, a lot, like like I said, a lot of the feral dogs where I grew up did end up with a very shepherdy look because there were a lot of people who had shepherds. And if those dogs got out or had puppies or ran away, then that was the genetics that fed into the... Um, the feral dog gene pool so you'd see a lot of dogs that looked kind of like that or maybe it was even coyotes too <laughs> who knows out in the desert oh my goodness now these are actually coyotes well apparently i can't growl <laughs> wolf puss let me growl with the skull in my mouth i know i can't show my teeth but i can still make the sound <laughs> goodness gracious pigeon is absolutely the, the sort of the sort of wolf who would just start whacking people with the skull too like, Stranger Wolf runs up and she just, ah, with the antler. <laughs> uh, she, she absolutely would. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that that falls into the realm of realism, and I will forever be sad about that, because how fun would it be to have a sword fight with an antler? <laughs> it would be so fun. I'm, I, I'm so sad in this one moment. <laughs> this is the one time the commitment to realism has made me sad, because I know... I know that real wolves would not do that, and I don't fault them for not adding it, but it would be so fun, though. It would be so fun, though. Oh, is this Wilbur? Hello, Wilbur. There's Pronghorn here. Where did you come from? Pronghorn just materialize out of nowhere. That is the very interesting thing about them. They they just appear. They are, they are so grass-colored that they will just materialize in certain seasons. Who's howling? Who's this? I hear sounds. I'm gonna go investigate sounds 
We can't court yet, and we've got a broken leg, but Pigeon is a curious wolf. She wants to see what's going on. See if you can figure out who's hanging around out here. Who do I smell? Ghost pack dispersals. How curious. Are you the ones who are howling? Well, we were not impressive enough to start courting yet. We've only brought down one elk. But I'm curious, I'm curious. The last time we followed our nose like this, it, it led us to a rivalry. But we can tell that these ones are male. We didn't just bump into them hunting. So these guys could potentially be eligible, depending. So I think Pigeon's curious. She's going to investigate. She's going to follow her nose and, and go sniffing about. What is this? It's another skull. No, I only have one mouth. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Too many skulls. <laughs> Too many skulls. Okay, do we keep the normal skull, or do we see if this is a or the original skull that we had, or do we see if this is a bigger one? Oh, I think we at least got to track it down and see. Are there is there more than one skull? These look like these. They could almost be separate scent trails. They almost look like they could be separate scent trails. Oh, it's a bison skull. That's a big skull. Look at this. This head is as big as my entire body, pretty much. Holy heck! Well, jeez! Oh, I'm so conflicted, y'all! I really like the mule deer skull. It's the first one that we found. Oh my goodness, we can, like, practically stand on the bison skull. We're gonna have <laughs> Pigeon putting one foot up on it as if she's the one who brought it down. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. I'm so conflicted. I want both. We gotta we gotta hurry up and find a mate and pick a den so that I can have both because Oh I think Pigeon has more attachment to the mule deer skull, but we definitely need to mark this bison skull on the map so that we can come back for it because Pigeon wants she wants it so desperately. Oh my goodness, she wants the skull so bad! <laughs> Found the scent of the ghost dispersals. What are they doing? I want to go find out. Can we make friends? We're really tired. <laughs> we might be too tired to make friends. Is this the... This is the... Oh, no, those are dogs. There's more dogs over there. Are they close? It's storming. They are close. It's a German Shepherd and a Rottweiler. Just, just some pretty normal looking dogs. All right, where's, where are these ghost dispersals? I just want to say hello. Goodness sakes, we're gonna scare the living crud out of them, aren't we? Because Pigeon's just gonna come running in with a whole frickin' skull and just be like, hi, how are you? <laughs> Do you want to see my cool skull? <laughs> She's gonna have to find someone who appreciates this as much as, uh, as much as she does, because I think she's going to, uh, terrify the whatever unsuspecting young man she comes across and she's not careful not that pigeon would care she is very much herself and who pigeon is is a bone collector not yet oh my god <laughs> i this th this guy was a little bit less intimidated at least at a glance <laughs> the black wolf in the back just booked it I think she's quite, she's quite forward, and they're not quite sure what to make about this. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look, do you want to see my skull? It's really cool! You want to see? No, he's running off. <laughs> I don't think he wants to see the skull, you guys. I think the skull is intimidating to him. Oh, This guy's kind of curious. You might, you might appreciate it more. He's still unsure, but he kind of came creeping up to take a look. Maybe, maybe this guy. This is 22M. He, he might be a good candidate. He's got a heck of a scar on his face, too. Is this another skull? Oh, my goodness. This is not mine. This is not a skull I found before. All right, we're going to go find this other skull. We'll leave these guys for now. They're not they're not skull connoisseurs the way that uh, that pigeon is. We're going to go look for this other skull. <laughs> And, oh, it's right here? What is this? Hello? <gasps> a cougar skull. Ooh. Cougar skull. That is also a fine skull. That's a very fine skull. Yeah. We can't see that too clearly. Let me put it out more in the open a little bit. 
It's not as big, but it is a predator skull. And so that, by vir virtue of that, also makes it very cool. So we'll mark that one, too. We... The clock is ticking for Pigeon finding a mate and claiming a den, because otherwise we are going to have too many skulls. She's not giving this one up, and we're going to run out of map markers. But it's late, it's storming, Pigeon's tired, let's let her take a nap. All right, morning's here, let's take a sniffy sniff. There's more dogs! But I don't smell any elk yet, which is a little bit unfortunate. I suppose we'll go say hi to the puppies here and see if they are uh, friendly. If they wanna, if they wanna play skull tag, <laughs> but we should probably focus on finding some food sometime in the semi near future here. Otherwise, we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna finish our 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 quest to hunt elk in a. There's it in. That's the second one I've tripped over. All right, I guess Pigeon is really good at this, somehow mysteriously in ways that even she does not fully understand. There was a dog that ran through here. I want to find it. You want to play skull tag, little friend? Are you, are you a coyote? You're a coyote. Oh, you guys are just coyotes. Where's the dog? There's the dog. Hey, do you want... No, you're also coyote. Where's the dog? I was just following the dog trail. Did the dog keep going, I guess? Oh, I guess he did. Okay. Well, I just want to make friends. I'm curious. Very curious indeed, but yeah, I'm really not smelling too much elk. There's avalanche dispersal wolves as well. We could go see them at some point. Oh, here's the dogs. Hello, do you want to be friends? Do you want to play with my skull? Do you want to see the skull? No, he's running. Why are you running? I just want to play tag. You don't want to play skull tag? There's pronghorn. <laughs> Do you guys like? No, they don't. They, they really don't like this skull. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I suppose Pigeon does not seem to be having much luck with her quest of friendship just yet. I think she needs to prove herself to be a bit of a, a bit of a hunter. She's a little bit distractible. Like she's not incompetent. She's just not focused. She she has a mission here, but she she likes to stop and smell the roses sometimes along the way, and there's a lot of roses to smell, especially when uh, especially when skulls also have a very interesting scent that always seems to catch her eye. I don't know what that was all about, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we'll probably leave off this introductory episode here for today. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter one, but hopefully you're seeing this pretty soon after I recorded it uh, so that you guys can get a brief look at this update. It is out now, but it is in public beta, so you'd have to enable that to be able to play it. And of course, that does mean that it's still in testing. There's another skull. It is still in testing. And that means that there could be bugs, glitches, other weirdness. Uh, some things may not go quite as planned. So it's not right here, is it? No. Well, where's the skull then? I think some of this was my skull scent. I've been lied to. No, I haven't. There's no, there's more down here. But yeah, some things may not be quite what they are intended to be just yet. You can always report those with F11 if you do happen to encounter some oddities. Uh, but all in all, if you're interested in checking it out, it is now available if you opt into the public beta. And we're going to be checking this out. We're going to be running another Wayfinder story here. And we will be catching up with the rest of Pigeon's siblings and her pack. It's another bison skull. They're just so freaking big. They're just so dang freaking big. Look at that. Look at the teeth. Look at the size of this thing. It's almost as big as Pigeon is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jeez Louise. Well, our, our injury is healed at least. So that is good. There go some dogs, but I think we'll go ahead, we'll leave this off here for today, and we will resume Pigeon's Adventures another time, hopefully very, very soon, so you won't have to wait too long, because there's many secrets to uncover in this world, and I think Pigeon in particular is very stoked about uh, uncovering all of them. 
But for now, we'll go ahead and leave this off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.